biggest uh, table saw in the industry. And uh, we've been around now since uh, about selling saws on the market about 15 years. We've got over 130,000 saws out in the uh, field being used all the time. And our system has never failed to operate correctly. That's a pretty nice uh, testimony. Um, we save more than three fingers a day uh, across North America. Uh, and when you consider the uh, just the, the financial cost of that, that's tremendous, but much more important than that, the, the social cost of that. <coughs> table saw injuries are not injuries that you just walk away from. Uh, table saw injuries, um, on the, the average table saw injury takes somebody out of the workplace uh, for, on, on average, 72 days. Um, that's when they can go back to doing some sort of work. But it's a lifetime altering, uh, life altering e event. Um, if you lose a finger, it, it's life, you know, it, it, it affects everything you do for the rest of your life. So that, that's something you should uh, be, be cognizant of. The demo that I'm going to do consists of a couple things. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to explain how it works because that young gentleman there wants to know. And I think a lot of you want to know. A lot of people have an idea of how it works, but more often than not, they're not. They, they, they have a, an incorrect understanding of how it works. The second thing we'll do is we'll talk about the importance of uh, dust collection and blade guard. Then we'll I'll, uh, show you how to operate the saw, and then we'll do the hot dog demo. So how does it work? It's a very simple technology. There's two parts. There's two parts to the saw stop, the sensing portion and the reaction portion. The sensing portion uses technology um, that's very similar to the touchscreen technology that we all have on our phones. More exact, it's like it's the same technology that you see on touch lamps. Those lamps where you touch the base of the lamp and the light comes on, and that's the technology. That requires something called capacitance. Capacitance is the ability of something to absorb and store electricity. Our bodies have capacitance. In contrast to our bodies, wood has no capacitance. So that's how we distinguish one from the other. Now the way the technology is applied to our saw is, uh, is simple. We isolate a small electrical charge to the blade. That electrical charge is emitting a, an electronic signal. This portion of the cartridge is monitoring that signal. Anything that has capacitance draws electricity away from the blade, changes that signal, and that's what we're looking for. When, we change, when, when, that change, when that signal changes, we activate the cartridge. There's a spring held under compression down here. We release that spring, and that drives this aluminum piece out into the top of the blade. We stop the blade in five milliseconds or less. Now, five milliseconds uh, is 10 times faster than the airbag in a car going off. So if anybody's ever had that experience, most people don't even know, they realize it happened until they see it. Know, this big white uh, bag in front of them. Five milliseconds represents the amount of time it takes sound to travel five and a half feet. So in the time that I'm speaking and you're hearing what I'm saying, for, for many of you, uh, that's twice as long as uh, it takes for this blade to stop and drop below the table. It's faster than your eyes process light, so if you're here to see the hot dog demo, you're really not going to see if these some of the, the, uh, the cameras here on your phones, if you put them on high speed, they're just fast enough to see a blur of the blade going down. So that's how the safety system works. It's really quite simple technology. Now, how many people here have table saws? Okay. How many people have a blade guard on their table saw right now? There's a couple of smart people out there. Huh? Every saw comes with a blade guard. The reason they come with it is two reasons why. One, they're legally required to do that. But two, they help prevent accidents. Label leg guards do work. They help pre prevent accidents. There are two or three things you do on table saws where leg guards legitimately don't work and you take them off. The problem with most leg guards is it's very hard to take on and off. So people take them off and then they uh, never go back on the saw. We've eliminated that reasonable excuse by making it very simple to take a blade guard on and off of our saw. So when you're doing one of those tasks where blade guards don't work, take it off. But when you're done, put the blade guard back on. I 
Don't need any tools. The blade guard goes on and on just, just simply. Doesn't add any time to your, your event. Use a blade guard when you, you uh, have the opportunity to. When you don't use the blade guard, if you're using, making the regular cut, use a riving knife. Riving knives are a beautiful addition to table saw today. They help eliminate the most opportunities for kickback. Nothing out there uh, perfect as far as kickback. Now, when I do my hot dog demo here, I take the blade guard off for a couple reasons. One, so you guys can see. When the blade guard's in there, you can't really see. But two, the blade guard will do more damage to my hot dog than, than the blade will. I mean, the, the, hot, the blade guard will do more damage to the hot dog than the blade will. So, got my riding knife in place here. Got everything set up to go. Um, let's talk about how to operate the saw. The saw is really quite simple to operate. There's one switch here that I have to flip. Hmm. I'll flip this switch. And you're my, uh, you're my assistant here. I've got a green light with a flashing red light. Is that correct? Yeah. I need to wait about 10 seconds till I get a green light. The green light tells me that everything on the system is in operating condition. If there's anything wrong with the saw, I won't get a green light and the saw won't turn on. So I've got a green light now. What do I have now? Green light with a flashing red light? That's an error code. With an error code, the saw will not turn on. So I've got a green light again. We're ready to do a hot dog demo. You only go through that sequencing uh, uh, initialization of the saw when you go into the shop, you leave it on there, and then at the end of the day, you turn the computer off and so you're not running it all night long. So you don't have to wait that 10 seconds all the time every time you use the saw. Let's put this aside. So, we've removed the blade guard. That's problem number one. The blade is all the way up. That's problem number two. But we do that just so you can see. Problem number three is you're going to see that in a second here. I'm going to feed this hot dog in at a really high rate. I want to show you what the worst case scenario might look like. So, yeah, I about did. I about did. That's what it did to the hot dog. With the hot dog. High speed. That's all we did. That's a band aid injury. For for those of you in commercial shops and you deal with OSHA. That's a non-reportable event. You don't have to report that to OSHA. That's like winning the lottery. Oh. Uh, when OSHA comes into your shop and starts writing fines for somebody having an accident, it's not a good day. It takes that uh, average table saw angry cost from this size of two thousand dollars up to about one hundred eighty thousand dollars. If you ever see him, four thousand dollars. That's it. Now, if you want to see what we do now to reset the saw, you can stand, you can hang around. I'm going to do that right now. That's the hot dog demo. I, I always, I always, I've seen the hot dog demo thousands of times. I like to see it. Now, one of the very first times I did a hot dog demo, I a grandmother standing there with her grandson. She dropped a couple of four-letter words and the little voice grandma. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I feel uh, we got a West Coast. Uh, I don't know if I'll see this, but uh, So that's what we did. You can see, you can see all sorts of distortion and compression here. That's absorbing energy. Spinning blade. Now let me set this aside here. Here's the new cartridge. Yeah. How much are those cartridges? Uh, $79. $79. That's expensive. Yeah. Um, 
It's better than safe. It's better safety than cutting your finger off. Hopefully, you never have to do that. That's the goal. There's no, there's no uh, ability to like, uh, do uh, wrestling. And, uh, I have a saw in my baseball. I've been there for uh, 14 years. So, uh, but we're, uh, I got a car to class out here. Yeah. Hundreds of times. I can get a little out, off track. Oh, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Hell, I'll say what. <laughs> Let me slide this up. This saw is operational again. He's back on side. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, the cost of $79. The cost of the blade varies on what, what blade you need. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. See, he's a football coach, too, so everybody's with this one in, you know. I got it. And when he went back teaching again. It's better than a cutting off. A finger. <laughs> Y'all think about getting one? Yeah, we got yeah, one too. We, got we love ours. Uh, love I tell them. you what, it's a lot of stuff. We we cut this thing well. Especially cutting like pressure trees. Did you have a good question? He had the good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had football cases. I had our case. Oh, really? Yeah. One of them. One of them. I'll take it. I get the special.